Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the 5th Space Station 13 tutorial video. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to set up Singularity, which if you're an engineer, chief engineer, anything like this, this is part of your job. You have to do this. Uh, so just make sure you're some sort of engineering job, and this is probably going to be done at the beginning of the round. So I'm just going to wait for the server to start, and then I'll get back to this. Uh, also, I should mention that... Um, I'm hosting this server locally, so there's going to be no lag at all, or at least as least lag as there can be. So, if I'm running around really smoothly, I'm not really used to it, so I might be sliding around a lot. So I'm chief engineer, so I'm just going to put on some of the stuff that I get in my office. Uh, you're going to want to put on a hard suit, and I'll show you where the normal ones are for the engineers that aren't the chief just in a second I'm just grabbing all this stuff that the chief engineer needs you're gonna want a multi-tool for this some sort of mask you'll probably want insulated gloves although I don't know if they're 100% necessary okay so let me turn the sound up a bit. I had it down because of the music at the beginning. Alright. So I'm going to grab an extended capacity oxygen tank. Here's where you can find the uh, normal suits for normal engineers. And the first thing you want to do, set these to auto charging. Max out the input level. Then uh, max this out but subtract some. So like 170, uh, 170, 100, oh, whatever. Yeah, that's basically what you're going to want to do that. And make sure that the input level is maxed. And this way, when the singularity starts giving off energy, it will actually charge. Okay, so now, wait you want to do is go either ask the chief engineer to do this if you're not if you're not a chief engineer but if you're a chief engineer all you have to do is just press this middle button right here this one and then what that's going to do is open up the storage the secure storage back here and what you want from here is the uh, toxin canister and we're gonna be dispensing six plasma tanks from here and then what you do is you just put it into here Attention. Enemy and then take pressure set it to max and then just open it and then close it once this tank pressure gets to uh, over 1000 and you don't want to leave it open because you just want to quickly open it quickly close it because this will release uh, toxin everywhere if you keep it open and that's very flammable it's very very flammable so don't ever do that so we're, this isn't 100% necessary to com to fill them up but I like to get them all the way maximum instead of just their starter amount because that way they'll last longer at the beginning so just fill these up once you have them filled up all the way, you're going to want to go down and load it into the radiation collector array. Put one in each. And don't mind this thing that's sitting there. And then you're going to want to, once it's loaded, you just click on them to activate them. And if you're a chief engineer, it's a good idea to click them with your ID card to lock the controls. That way no one can mess with it. But if you're a normal engineer, you don't have to worry about that. Then you just gotta load them up on the other side. And then I'm just gonna lock them. One thing I should mention about engineering, by the way, and this is just a, the more you know. Get no rid of your normal welder and go into here. 
because in here there's an industrial welding tool and this actually has a larger capacity so when you walk into here do not push do not touch anything because you, you'll push it around and you'll have to rotate it and it's a pain so just don't walk into anything just take out your wrench and start left clicking on every single tile every single tile of the particle accelerator including the computer so after you've uh, wrenched it all what you need to do is take out wires and just left click on each part to load loading the, the wires okay after you do that you want a screwdriver to close the, all the panels oh and also don't forget to add wires to the computer also I already did that okay just close all the access panels on them okay and now it's all set up now what we need to do is get our internals on just by clicking up here now what I'm gonna do is down here I need a left click on this to turn on the emitter then I'm just gonna lock it with my ID card because I'm chief engineer I don't want people touching that gotta do it for each one there's some on this side too so don't forget that Oops. and now this one okay now when you're turning on the field generators you just gotta turn it on then keep going don't stand near it do not stand near it after you've turned it on. It's a really bad idea. I've died actually a few times doing this. Did I get this one? Okay, I got them all. So now I gotta carefully walk back in. Okay. And, oh, here, I got my ID card back. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to the particle generator the particle accelerator and I'm going to run a scan it says all parts are in place I'm going to toggle the power on and I'm going to set the particle strength up to 2 now do not make the mistake when I was first recording this video tutorial I had to restart because I left the area for a second and singularity ended up getting too big and destroying the entire station so you have to watch it you have to make sure it does not get too big also I think you might be able to lock this computer no you can't Okay, so we're just going to wait for Singularity to appear. It's going to be fed by the emitters, give it more uh, energy so it can uh, create the Singularity. Then the Singularity will start eating the tiles inside and growing bigger and bigger. Alright, so you can see Singularity down there. Uh, my, my UI is kind of blocking it off, but you can see that's just a really tiny Singularity down there. We're going to want more than that, so we're going to keep the power on we're gonna keep it accelerating the particles this kind of takes a while but it's just important to make sure that you're watching it you gotta make sure that it doesn't get too big okay so once it gets to this size what I prefer to do is just turn the particle strength down to one just play it safe I only want it one size bigger than this Okay, it's still being fed. Hopefully it doesn't go too far down the screen. I'll be able to see it though once it gets once it gets uh, a little bit bigger. Particle strength one is pretty weak slow yeah this isn't exactly the most fun part about setting singularity up just waiting for it to grow you can keep it on particle strength too but it's, I don't really normally do that since I'm pretty clumsy and I mess things up often so I'm, okay, there we go. 
Now you're going to want to turn particle strength to zero, but keep the power of toggled on. So there you go, Singularity is looking pretty beast right now. And then what I'm going to do is just close this off so people can't really touch it. Okay, now if I go back into here, you can see that the yellow means that it's charging. So you can see, yeah, that's going up. This one doesn't seem to be going up, but I didn't set it to auto, that's why. Now it should be charging. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to show you how to set up solar. One thing I should actually mention is that you have to keep checking on these. These down here, the radiation collectors, you have to keep filling them up with this. By the way, you should never keep this out in the open. You should just put it back into here and close it off because a lot of people want to mess with the station with the toxins. So you got to check on these every once in a while to make sure that they're full. So just check on them like every 10 to 15 minutes. Maybe not that much, but just make sure that you check on them. So if we go to the left of engineering and we go uh, up, and then I'm gonna need, I'll take this. If you go over to the left over here, you're going to see this little setup over here. And what we need to do is connect up all the wires. So it's kind of weird how you do it. You kind of go to see how I'm kind of swaying. Like, the, the way you set up wires is kind of confusing, but you get the hang of it. So you just gotta connect up all the wires. Oops. And what these are is uh, backup, so if Singularity goes down or something. It also just provides extra power, but you wanna keep the output on this, you don't want to. You only want to have the output on when you need it. So it should be storing energy. So in case singularity ever goes down, and this isn't the only solars on the uh, station. There's more than this. Uh, if you look at a map, which I'll put in the description, you can see where all of the uh, solars are on the station. You'll probably want to set all of them up just to be safe and have a lot of power just in case anything happens to Singularity. Okay. So I'm getting the last wire in. Okay. Now that I have it all connected up, I'm just going to go back into here. On this computer right here, what I'm going to do is... Hold on, let me look to make sure I do this right. Alright, so first we're just going to go to the power storage unit set charging to auto then you want to put input to 80,000 turn the output all the way off just yeah, have that out offline for now you actually don't need to uh, have it you just keep it offline you don't need to set the output level to zero that's not necessary um, so next we're going to go to this and I'm going to set it the tracking just to auto so that way it automatically will align the solars to where the sun is see they're aligning themselves with the sun so this can charge doesn't look like it's charging right now though um, if I think if I set it down a little it doesn't charge if your input level is higher than the amount of solar energy it's receiving 80,000 is maximum sunlight so if I have it on 80,000 it's gonna collect only when it's getting maximum sunlight see now it's charging and it's starting to collect very small amounts of energy and I can turn this output online whenever the station needs energy so I think that's basically it for this entire tutorial. Just set up all the solars, uh, have Singularity running, all that. You're probably going to have a crew to help you with it too. But it's a very important part in upkeeping the station. So make sure that you get it done. It needs to be done. And if you're an engineer, it's your job. Especially if you join at the beginning of the round. You can't just leave. You have to do this. So make sure that it gets done and tune in for the next tutorial. I'm going to be doing an easy job that anyone can play just because uh, it was requested.